All right, so welcome back in. So many times you can smell this plant before you even see it. And for many people, the honeysuckle is also a great reminder of summer and being a kid. We learn more in this week's Next to Nature. All right, everybody, welcome back to Next to Nature this week with Dr. John Long. Thanks for joining us. And to me, this always reminds me of spring and summertime. Yes. The honeysuckle. Absolutely. And it is certainly in bloom right now. Oh, and it smells so wonderful. They do. Oh, it just says summer to me. Uh, and but, yeah. we were talking about earlier, you know, as a kid, taking these off and getting a sweet taste very from, little very yeah. little but it it's it tastes very sweet hence the name honeysuckle so. that's right yeah, so yeah. kind of talk about what kind of plant okay. this is i mean it to me it almost looks like a vine but is it it is it is a honeysuckle vine um, and it is very profuse it's, and it's very good at adapting to its environment as you can see here, it's attached to all of this uh, various types of small oak trees we have here. If you look back into the pine plantation behind us, mm -hmm. it's all in uh, climbing on trees and climbing on privet hedge and things like that. So it's very prolific in its climbing ability as far as a vine's concerned. And uh, this is also, I'm guessing, a pretty good pollinator? It is, very good pollinator. Um, the uh, hummingbirds, anything you can imagine, insects love it because it's attracted to that that sweet smell that it has uh, this time of year. If you have a honeysuckle vine, uh, some people want to try and maybe control it. Uh, not let it get too out of hand. Because, good luck. Uh, that, <laughs> that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Is there a good method to not letting it maybe overtake right. one single area? Just don't look at it is the best way I can say because it's going to die off. It, it is, it, it's really hardy as far as uh, taking over areas. Some people like to plant them for ornamentals, uh, which is great, I think. I mean, like I said, it's this time of year that you get that really strong smell. It produces a very beautiful flower. Um, as you can tell, if you look on the ground behind us, they're already, uh, the leaves are already falling off. I'm sure there's some foliar treatments for it to control it, but I, I don't know it. But gotcha. I would, and I would be scared to suggest it. <laughs> so just kind of give up, get you a little vine uh, right. rack and let them grow sure, up. Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever works for you. That's there you good. go. Yeah. No, and this, and you can find these pretty much all over the southeast. You right? can. There's there's 153 varieties of honeysuckles. Really, so it's a lot of different Holy varieties cow. of of honeysuckles. So. Yeah, this this one in particular, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's the japonica, uh, which is can be an in, invasive type plant, which is why we see it everywhere. But also another benefit to it, I've heard people that would fertilize it for deer. Oh. But you could fertilize it and make it more lush uh, for deer to, to eat on too. Of course, they're going to eat on everything anyway. But Yeah, they, they're sort of, a, a, they go out and they'll just munch on anything right, right. Uh, out in the woods. Right. But to improve that habitat, I've heard of people fertilizing. So. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, you're always going to learn something new right. here on Next to Nature. Thank That's you, right. Dr. Long. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you back here next week. Mm -hmm.